don't say anything. That's probably what I remember most about studying the Gospel of Mark. When we read Mark's Gospel, there are three points that I think are pretty prevalent in his teaching. The first is known as the Markian secrets. When we hear Jesus say frequently, go and tell no one what has just occurred. And I laugh at that because what do we do when we, when we hear that? When someone tells us, don't say anything, we do. I think it's just part of our human nature. But also what Mark is known for, and I think is very important for today, brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God is at hand. And you have heard it said, but I tell you. And Jesus is with the elders and the Jewish teachers of the synagogue of the temple there in Jerusalem. And he's describing to them who he is. They couldn't fathom it because it's not part of their teaching where Jesus says, you have heard it say or said. Well, where do they hear that? But in the Torah, the Jewish law. But Jesus goes on and says, but I tell you, Jesus himself is giving the illustration of just who he is. He is God. That mystery of God in three persons, the Holy Trinity, as we just celebrated last week, the gift of Pentecost. So today, may we reflect always on just who Christ is in our daily journey. He is God. And as he tells us that the kingdom of God is at hand, may we always reflect that the kingdom that is yet to come, but here right now, because we have the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so we are empowered as Christian brothers and sisters to live our faith, to hold steadfast, and to, as the Nike commercial used to say back in the day, just do it because our heart finds joy when we are united with the way in which God has designed for us. So today, on this beautiful Saturday, we reflect on the martyrdom of Charles Lawanga in the gift of life. The gift of life that he and his companions gave of themselves in order to preach the gospel. And on this day, we give thanks to God for the gift of life. It's Andrew Harrington's birthday. Happy birthday, Drufus. He has a gift that was given to him by one of his friends, but he did not want to bring it into church. You know what that is. But may we rejoice always on the beautiful gift of life, and let's live our faith and be joyful. Amen? Amen.